Hello everyone and welcome to this new and exciting series. We shall be learning how to model this in ARCHICAD, then we export it to Twinmotion and we do some awesome renders. So first of all, this thing has a few unique features uh, that we did not cover in the previous series because here we have a stair and a fast flow, of course, so we will learn how to use the stories. And then we also have corner windows in this particular series. And then we also have some log details on the walls and also some lighting we are going to use in twin motion to create a night scene. So let's start with this. I have attached the reference in the description below, so go ahead and download it. So once you have found your reference, just drag and drop it onto the workspace and you can go ahead and close this. What is in the reference here is we have a, a simple ground plan and a fast four plan and some other resources that you will need like this reference so in this floor plan we just want to be able to trace over this and uh, like we did previously it is going to be hard for us to trace it above unless it is it is in lines because currently it's an image so what you want to do is right click and explode into current view and when you have done that it gets exploded and you can go ahead and delete this background and you will just remain with this with these lines as you can see here so currently it's grouped you can ungroup it but for now i just want to ask to scale it because importing pdf will always distort the scale since we have these dimensions that are given you want to rescale by coming to this icon here which is called resize or the shortcut right there Control k so say okay to these and then zoom in to the first point and then to the next point and you put in the new dimension which is two meters and that is what you have. So to check whether it has done the correct thing, you want to hit M for measure and the first point, click on the first point and go to the last point and you can see it's 3.2 and that is what you have been given. So once you have scaled it, we just now need to begin to trace over. Now for us to be able to trace over this thing, uh we can go ahead and draw right here but i usually prefer that we get this thing out of the way because you don't want to keep selecting as you draw your things so let us create stories where we are going to put it and then we trace over it so this is what i mean you go to the navigator pen right click and go to story settings so once this dialog box is up you have the ground flow by default, so create the first flow. Flow by naming it, then we also have a roof flow. And once you have formed that, you also insert another one, which we are going to call the ground flow reference. Ground, let me call it the ground reference. And then also insert above the first flow reference first flow reference so that's what you have so once you've created those just go ahead onto the ground floor and cut this by selecting it of course you need to first suspend group first and then cut that by ctrl x and then we go up to the ground reference and just paste it in there and that is it so 
we go to the ground floor again this time we want to take this which is the first floor reference and of course we need to, to have to select all of it so you can temporarily allow this and then we say ctrl x to cut it and we put it onto the first floor reference now for us to to be able to position it uh, particularly well you just want to trace and by default the trace reference will be on the below current story so you need to use that by selecting what you see and then you take one of the points like this one and put it to where it's supposed to be so right now it should be able to overlap well so your aim is that you want the footprint of the first floor to overlap just above the footprint of the ground floor and once you have done that just make sure that your grid lines are in line with what is underneath or otherwise if you had something like like this you would know that it, it's not aligned so be sure to align it so well so i will undo that so right now let's begin with the drawing so we go to the ground floor and pick the wall tool so how do we draw how do we trace it we go to the trace reference and choose reference and now we do not need below current level but we browse for the trace reference and the ground reference should be selected so when you have it selected you need to go ahead and begin to draw so begin with before we begin to draw you want to select the multi corner something here this this option okay whatever it is called and then uh, use the center and of course we need to change some things about the wall so let's use a basic wall and we are going to use it as brick structural and when that is done we want we want to reduce the thickness of the wall something like 200 and let's go to model so we override the surface so when you look at the reference we have stuck a white ref here and some gray things happening here so let's begin with that gray stuff so let's put gray in here okay it's something like lime gray okay and now as you can see from the reference obviously we have these log details so to find log details just click here and then we say use log details and you just want to choose uh, this format here so uh, obviously the scale the scale of these things is much bigger than 200 so we try something like 400 so we say okay we can always come and change it if it's not looking like that so we go ahead and draw so when you look at the reference it's starting from the entrance and then you need to zoom in or otherwise you will draw from the wrong places so hold shift click the next point hold shift click the next point like that so you need to go ahead and for now we're just making the basic shape of it so it should go up to there so once you have done that we now go ahead and change it to the one which has no log details and that is stuck white rough so once you have selected that go ahead and draw that, um, like that. and then this one too this one too is uh, log detailed starting from this dot And then this re recessed entrance, the recessed porch, this recessed porch is going to have a door like you can see. 
it's going to have a door. And actually here, we need to take this back and put it. And put one of those columns that you can see here. So in this case, I am going to put this uh, illusion of a column. I'm just going to use the wall tool to actually draw this something proportionally like that. So 600, just uh, shift and then put like 600 by 300 from center to center. Just need something that looks like that. So let's go ahead and duplicate that here for the porch area. Ro rotate it by Control E, and let's put it right there. So we have finished the exterior walls. So now we put some interior walls. So we just want them to be uh, white. So we pick one of these white walls and then we go into settings and just reduce how they look like. And then we can go ahead and make it a single pen and just go ahead and draw. And of course you need to zoom in because if you don't, you will begin to draw in the wrong places, you know. Just zoom in and get things precisely you have the reference lines already so you can go ahead so always toggle between the reference so to see what is happening go back to the ground floor and go ahead and draw that so here we're going to have a stair we don't need a wall there perhaps we can put it there for a beam but anyways so so here we, we, we need a, an open plan concept for the kitchen, sit, dining and the sitting, so we can leave it open, but maybe we may need to close off this duct. If you see it in the floor plan, we have a duct there. So, so we need to close it off. So that's what you do, because um, in the end, it's just because uh, when you render your model, you just need to see a hint of what is happening in there, but you just don't, you don't need to be precise because we, we're just doing the model. But if, of course, you want to do final drawings, you might want to detail it further. So for the first floor plan, you want to reference the above Flow plans. So once you have it selected, you want to go to the trace reference and choose reference. And this time, of course, it's not here. You browse for reference and select the first flow reference and say, OK, so that will be selected. So obviously, we want to, to choose something to work with. And if you looked at the reference again, you can see that this is stuck of white. So we, we will pick the stack of white by holding Alt and clicking onto one of those. Go to the first floor and then we begin to draw. So maybe we can start from here. So be sure to zoom in and get the correct ones. And oh God, let's, let's just use that instead. So let's go ahead and Draw that, hold shift, that, and then goes all the way to there, and then up to here. And for this one, of course, we will pick uh, the other wall, which is grayish, and we go ahead and we draw. So let's go ahead and draw over this and of course we are going to have a balcony here so we might want to stop somewhere there and uh, just continue this because this is not going to be stuck white it's going to be stuck white and there's a recess here so you can have a balcony here as you look at it on the reference so once you have done that and are happy with it, 
you can go ahead and put some interior suppression so for the interiors just pick the same thing go to the first floor and then we begin to draw so for this one we can choose a single pen go ahead and draw that because that's a bedroom that's a water closet and that's a stair of course and then we have drawn it on the wrong so we can drag it to the correct position and we can go ahead and draw whatever is missing and of course we need this to go all the way like that like that and right there of course we have a duct here that runs to the ground to service this WC. So the the thing you you want to to work around is that this is going to be a master suit and its balcony right there. So for this tutorial, we are going to finally put in a slab. So let's go to the slab tool. We just need to to use a simple one, simple slab, about 450 because um again we have these two steps so we want something that is deep enough so we take something like that and let's just use the default coloring and then we go to uh concrete yes let, let, let it stay concrete and we say okay and then we can put it in right there just draw it. Draw it there. And then we subtract this in here. And then move this right like that. I think I'm happy. That, that should work. Then we go to the first floor. Of course, for the first floor, it is going to be a slab, and the biggest it can be, maybe 250. No, I don't know why we would want to make something bigger than that, but we can take 250, just draw it, and subtract the areas that you do not need. And the reason why I use the center lines is because I don't want them to show, I don't want this slab to show up at the extreme. So that's why I just need to take it within and so that it does not show up at the extremes. So if we go to 3D, you see we have tweaked so much. See what it looks like. So this is what we have. And this is the behind part. And then this is the this other part, and of course we need this uh, column to be this color. So you can go ahead and pick it and Control Alt to to just paste in uh, the attributes. So if you want to copy the attributes of this wall to here, you can say Alt to click that. Then you go and place the attributes onto the walls that you desire to transfer the settings so yeah the form is already taking shape so if you look at the reference and what is happening here some pretty cool things are already starting to happen so join me in the next one as we explore uh, the openings and everything else